Sarah, my name is Kelly. I'm going to be your nurse today. I'm going to wash my hands and then we'll come back, okay? My name is Kelly. I'm going to be your nurse today. Dr. Russell sent me in here to see how you're doing and just to kind of make sure that you're feeling well. So if you're okay with it, then we're going to get started, okay? Okay. Do you have any questions for me before we start? No. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to ask you some questions first, and this may seem a little bit silly, but just try to work with me, okay? Okay. Alright, can you tell me your full name? Sarah Elizabeth Russell. Okay. Can you tell me what day it is today? May 13th. Wednesday. May 13th. Wednesday. You know, okay. You know what year it is? 2015. Okay. Can you tell me who our president is? Obama. Okay. Thank you. See there? You passed the first part of your test. That wasn't so bad, was it? No. Okay. All right. Have a thermometer. I'm going to stick it in your ear and check your temperature, okay? Okay. Have you ever had this done before? Yes. Okay. Do you want to move your hair for me or do you want me to do it? Okay. Alright, this may feel a little bit funk, okay? Okay, 97.5. That's pretty good. Very good. So now I'm going to kind of look over your skin a little bit. Um, do you have any rashes or any lesions or any issues that you're aware of? No. Okay. All right. When did that come up? A couple weeks ago. Okay. What were you doing when you noticed it? Riding a four-wheeler and I crashed into some poison ivy. You crashed into some poison ivy. I okay. fell off the four-wheeler. Okay. Let me look at that. Does it still itch pretty badly? Mm -hmm. What are you putting on it? Nothing. Okay. So you can get some hydrocortisone cream over the counter. You can have your parents get it for you. Um, is this the only place that you have the poison ivy? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I see something on your neck. Is that also poison ivy or is that something else? I don't know. Okay. Is it interfering with how you do everything day to day? No. Okay. Um, you can also try like oatmeal baths, like warm tepid baths, and if you like with oatmeal, that'll help with some of the itching also. And if it's still a problem for you, you may want to talk to your mom and let Dr. Russell know. Okay? okay. Do you want me to let her know today? No. Okay. All right. All right. So we know you don't have a fever. Mm -hmm. Doing good there. Now I'm going to do something to you that's going to seem a little bit odd. Okay? going to pinch a piece of skin right here. It's just going to tell me how hydrated that you are. So, it's not going to hurt, but you are going to feel it. Okay? I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> Alright, so Sarah, do you have any tattoos? No. you have any birthmarks? No. Not very nice. Okay. It looks like you're getting plenty of water to drink. That's good. Alright, so now what I'd like for you to do is come to the side of the bed and I want to look at your head and your um, eyes and your scalp and make sure that everything looks symmetrical. Do you know what that means? Yeah, yes. Okay, just look at me. Now I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to run through your hair. I'm going to feel for any bumps, lumps, or bruises. Have you ever had a head injury that you're aware of? No. Okay. Have, do you have a lot of headaches? No. Okay, do you get dizzy? No. And you've never been hit hard in the head? No, when I was a baby. What happened? My mom dropped me on the ground when she was asleep. Oh, okay. Well, did it cause a fracture or anything? 
Honestly, I don't know. Well, I'm sure that if it had, your mom would have definitely taken you to the doctor. Mm -hmm. All right, look at me. Okay. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I wanna fill your lymph nodes in your face. Just, it may tickle a little bit. If it does, let me know. Okay, mm -hmm. are you ticklish? Mm -hmm. All right, are you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start back here. Have you been sick lately? No. And look at me. You have pretty eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so everything feels good there. Okay. All right, now I'm going to look at your ears. Do you ever have ringing in your ears or any issues that you're aware of? No. Okay. You have your ears pierced. I don't see any earrings. Is, you don't like to wear earrings? My oh. holes are grown left. Okay. okay, are you okay with that? Nope. Okay. All right, well, I have good news for you. Your head looks normal, so that's nice. All right, now, Sarah, what I'd like for you to do now, I want you to move your head from side to side, front and back. Okay. Now, can you shrug your shoulders for me? Can you do them at the same time? Okay. Now, I want you to push against my hand with your head. Push. 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 Oh, it's okay. okay, very good. All right, so now I'm going to look at your neck, okay? I'm going to push on your neck. I'm just checking your trachea to make sure it looks normal. Okay, I'm going to step behind you and I'm going to have you swallow for me. I'm going to put my hands around your neck and when I ask you to, I want you to swallow, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Now I'm trying to fill your thyroid gland right now, so swallow it for me. Okay, do it again. Very good. Do you have any trouble swallowing? No. Any issues you're aware of? No. Okay. Okay. Now, this is a little bit different. Now I want to look at your eyes. I'm going to take a light, I'm going to look right into your eyes. But before I do that, I'm going to have you follow my hand, okay? Okay. And some of these questions may seem really silly, but it's really helped me to tell how you, well your brain is working, okay? So look at my finger and just follow my finger with your eyes. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. You're doing really good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. All right. Now that we've done that, I want to shine a light right into your eyes. Um, I hope it's not too bright, but you know, just follow me for a second, okay? I'm trying to see how well your cornea or the middle of your eye contracts. Very good. Okay. Now I'm just going to check one more thing. This is to see how well your pupils or the middle of your eye does. They should be the same. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Do your eyes water? No. Do you have any pain in them? No. Itching, burning? No. Okay. Do you uh, have you ever worn glasses? No. Have you been to the eye doctor lately? Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to pull the bottom of your eyelid down and just kind of look to make sure everything looks well. Okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Very good. Your eyes are good, your, you know, the middle part of your eyes are white, that's very nice. Okay, Sarah, so I see that you have braces. How long have you been wearing braces? A little over a year. Okay, when's the last time you saw your orthodontist? Today. Okay, do you see your dentist regularly? Yes. Okay. Do you have issues with cavities? No. Do you have any mouth pain? No. Are you having trouble swallowing? No. Okay, let me look at your mouth. I want to look at your gums and check inside your mouth, okay? So open your mouth really wide for me. Take your tongue out, move it side to side, okay? I'm going to take my finger and look inside, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Your teeth look nice. See a little bit of irritation on your gums from where your braces are rubbing your teeth. Open your mouth, please. Stick your tongue out. Okay. Do your, so you're sure your mouth doesn't hurt you? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Your tongue looked good. There was no issues there. Your movement was good. That's fantastic. Okay, so now I'm going to just kind of see how you're breathing. So I'm going to listen and look, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, now what I would like for you to do, Sarah, I'm gonna put my hands on your back, and I wanna put my hands on your chest. Oh. And I wanna ask you to take a good deep breath for me, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, kind of lean up a little bit. Okay, take a deep breath. Very good. Take a deep breath. Very good. Do you have any cough or any problems that you're aware of? No. Okay. Any problems with asthma or anything else? No. Okay. Do you get shorter breath when you're running or have any issues with that when you were PE or anything? No. Okay, well your respiratory rate is good. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to listen to your lungs. I'm gonna do it from the front and the back and the sides, okay? Okay. So you can just breathe normally. Okay, I'm gonna come around. Take a breath. Take a breath. Very good. Take a breath. Take a breath. Okay, you wanna move your hair. Okay, take a breath for me. Breath. Take a breath. Take a deep breath. Very nice. Take a deep breath. Your lungs are clear. Everything sounds really good. So you must, what do you do for PE? Run and run. Okay, yeah, well you have very nice, deep, clear lungs. Very good. All right. Are you okay? Can I keep going? Uh-huh. All right. Now, the next thing I have to do is listen to your heart. Kind of make sure that your heart rate is normal. But before I do that, if you're okay, I would like to check your blood pressure. Can I do that? Uh-huh. Okay. I'm going to put this on your finger. This is going to check your oxygen level. All right, just put your little finger in there. And relax. This tells me how much oxygen is in your blood. Mm -hmm. And you are at 97%. Your heart rate is 60, which is really good. So be thankful for your youth and your health. Okay, I'm going to put this on that arm, okay, since you have poison ivy. Have you ever had your blood pressure taken before? Yes. Okay, so you're aware that this is going to squeeze and get pretty tight? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any questions before I do it? No. Okay. All right, are you ready? Mm -hmm. It's going to get really tight, okay? Okay. One hundred two or fifty-eight. That's not bad. Does this sound about right for you? Do you need a cool rag for your arm? No. 
Okay. Now, since I've done that, now I want to listen to your heart. Okay, can you sit still for just a few more minutes maybe? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to listen at several places. This is going to tell me how your heart valves are functioning, okay? You don't have to do anything but sit there. Okay, I'm going to move your arm. Very regular. Very nice. Everything sounds really good, Sarah. I don't hear any issues whatsoever, okay? Now I'm going to listen to your heart right over top of the most prominent part, okay? This is called the apex of your heart. And your heartbeat's still about at 60, so you did a good job. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you still doing pretty good? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, now what I need to do is listen to your carotid artery. It comes through here. I'm listening for anything that may sound abnormal. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to notice is that when I touch it, I'm not going to put a lot of pressure, but I need to listen, okay? Okay. And Sarah, you're doing a great job. We're halfway through this assessment, so you're doing a fantastic job. Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna start on your left side, okay? to your right side. You can just hold your head normally if you would like. I don't hear anything abnormal. That's really good. You're doing a good job. Okay. So you're still pretty comfortable? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, I'm gonna to talk to Dr. Russell before you leave about getting some cream for you since you're itching so badly, okay? Okay. And you may want to quit scratching if you can. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna check your radial pulse. Just, you're, you're all right, just, you know, just hold your hand normally. That's good. Okay. Sarah, I want to check the pulses behind your knees. Okay. Just let your legs go. There we go. Everything feels good. Everything feels normal, okay? Okay. I wish I had your blood flow. Do you know what your pulse tells you? Mm -hmm. How many beats a minute your heart does? Your pulse tells you how effective your blood is getting to the rest of your body. Okay. Mm. And you, being young and strong, are very lucky because your pulses are two plus all the way through. Okay. Okay. Okay, Sarah. Do you think that you could lie down for me? Yes. Can you put your legs out so I can look at your belly? Okay, I didn't see any edema. Okay. Are your menstrual periods regular? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'm going to listen to your belly. When's the last time you've had a bowel movement? Uh, Do you have them pretty regularly? Mm -hmm. Do you have a lot of diarrhea or loose stools or any issues? No. Okay. I'm just checking now to see how your bowel sounds, okay? Okay, 
everything sounds good. Okay, so now I'm going to touch your belly and I'm not going to hurt you, but I'm just going to kind of feel to make sure you're not tender. Okay. If I do anything that you think is, you know, tender, please let me know. Am I hurting you? No. Okay. When did you start your menstrual cycle? I don't know. In the past year, six months? Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you have any, when you use the bathroom, does it burn? Any bleeding? No. Painful? No. Okay. Do you, does your urine smell foul? No. Are you sexually active? No. Do you have a boyfriend? No. <laughs> okay. All right, so now I'm gonna check your, because I didn't do this earlier, I'm gonna go ahead and check your fingers, okay? Mm -hmm. Do your fingers turn blue or do you have any trouble? No. Okay. Okay, does that hurt? No. Okay. Now I'm going to check your toenails, make sure that they're all right. All right. Do you have any questions about anything we've done so far? No. Okay. You're ready for this to be over with, aren't you? Yep. Okay. Well, we're almost finished. All right, I'm going to squeeze your toes. Do you want to take your shoes off or no? No. All right. Do your toenails turn blue or have any colors? Do you notice any? Do they itch or have any kind of flakiness or any of those kinds of problems? No. Okay. All right, so now what I'd like for you to do is sit up on the side of the bed. And I'm going to ask you to stand up and to walk right across there for me, okay? But before you do that, let me go ahead and do this first. All right, so I want you to grab my fingers Okay, now I'm going to ask you to, okay, you can stop squeezing now. I want you to resist the movement that I have, okay? So push up against my hands. Okay, now push down. Okay, put your hands up. Push out. Okay, all right. Now push in. Okay, all right, same for your legs, okay? Push up, push down, okay, <laughs> push up, push down, okay, now with your, both your legs, push in, oh, okay, okay, now push out, okay, all right, now I want you to stand up and I want you to walk over there for me, and then on the way back, I want you to grab the end of the bed, and I want you with one hand to pull one leg up. Now do the other one. Okay. All right. So, Sarah, other than the fact that you're itching, is there any other issues that you want to talk to Dr. Russell about today? No. Are you pretty comfortable with everything? Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions about anything that we've done? No. Okay. Is there anything that I can get for you? No. Okay, and you know, you had said that you weren't sure about your bowel movements, but do you feel like you have pretty regular bowel movements? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to go talk to Dr. Russell about getting some cream for you. If there's anything else that you need while I'm gone, please think about it and let me know. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate your time. Good. Okay. It's not going to Now, Sarah, I did not check your gag reflex with a tongue blade. Is that still something that you're not feeling too good about me doing? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. You can do it if you want, but I was going to do it really tight and before. 
Okay, let me ask you this. When you're at home, do you gag on things very easily if something's in your mouth? No. Okay, so maybe we should do that. Okay. okay. So I'm going to go get that and I'll be back. All right. We are almost finished. You were in luck. I was able to find some tongue blades. So let me wash my hands, okay? Thank you so much for allowing me to do this. This may seem a little bit strange, but what I need to do, this is just going to tell me how your brain is working with your gag reflex. It's just something that Dr. Russell is going to want to know, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you to say, ah, and I want to put this on your tongue. And when you do that, I want to go to the back of your throat, and it may make you feel like you have to gag, okay? Okay. All right, Sarah, if you will, open your mouth. Stick your tongue out. All right, say ah. <coughs> Stop it. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. It's finished though, okay? okay? You did a fantastic job. Now, I'm gonna go get some cream for you. Thank you so much for participating with this. And I'll let Dr. Russell know you were a good patient, okay? okay. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I'll send him down, okay? If you think of anything else you need, let us know. Professor Sherry, I hope that's what you were looking for. If you have any suggestions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. This is Kelly Russell. Thank you for your time.